Okay, this is for um, Nas Dorman. Uh, I never do this stuff, but I'll try to do one. It's probably going to be horrible. You can see the guitar. This is the 12th fret right here with these two markings. Um, it's usually got a capel or two and a half step down. I can't remember which, but I just play it in standard tuning because I'm lazy. Um, so it's open E and then 12 on the G string. And just the same pattern throughout this whole part. Then you move down to the A string, 10th fret, 11th fret on the G string. Move both those down to 9, 9, so 9 on the A, 9 on the G. Then move the A down to the 8th fret, keep the G on 9. Then you move both of them down to 7. And this part, it switches down to the D string now and the G string, so 5, 6, 4, 6, and I don't know what he does here, I just do like bar chords, like B, B and D, maybe like palm muted or something like that, I don't know. So one more time, open E, 12 on the G, 10 on the A, 11 on the G, 9 on the A, 9 on the G, 8 on the A, 9 on the G again, move both those down to 7, then you go up to the D string, 5, 6 on the G string, 4 and 6, yeah so that's pretty much that part, hopefully that was pretty straightforward. Um, this next part is just E. I, I, I. This is five, four, six, five. Five on the A string, four on the D string, six on the G string, and five on the B string. doesn't always sound good. Um, I do four, four on the A. I try to mute this, this D string, but I don't always do it. And then two on the, two on the G. And then it ends with, then A follows that, so I'm not done. Sort of mess with it. So that part again, E, this chord, whatever it is, five, four, six, five, four, two, yeah, four, two, sorry, and then E, and then when it goes back to the distorted part, like it comes in with it, it's the same rift as before. Oh, fuck, my guitar shocked me. The same rift as before, but you're playing it faster. So it's... Hopefully that helped, dude. Um, this is probably hard to follow because I'm not good at these, but yeah, hopefully it helps them. Cheers.